adjust the cutting settings of the machine, it may be necessary from time to time to go in and perform a calibration on it. We want to make sure that our cuts are right on the edge of the graphic or where we need them to be after it's finished its printing. To adjust this, we'll go into the menu and go to the cutting menu, go over, and we have print cut adjustment. Go over one more time and here we have the test print which will print out a series of boxes that the machine will go back and cut around so we can evaluate it for its accuracy. Press enter and the print will start. Once this, the print is complete for the three boxes, the printer will park the print head and then move the cutting head out to go and cut around each one of the individual boxes so we can evaluate it for accuracy. Advance the media out. Now we can access it to determine how it's cut. The feet direction of the machine is going from the back of the machine to the front and the scan direction is from left to right and back and forth. I'll start with the center one which is where we should base all of our calibrations off of for this test. When I remove the box we can see that in the feed direction there's a slight bit of black on both sides which is perfect for what we're looking for and you can see in the scan direction there's a larger black line here than on the right hand side of the machine. This indicates that our scan is off on this cut calibration. I need to evaluate the other two boxes to see the extremes on the outside. We'll go to the left hand side first and when I weed this one out You can see that once again the feed calibration is good here for our cutting but again the scan is off in the same direction and on over to the right hand side where the same conditions exist. I need to go into the menu and adjust the scan direction on this to compensate for it. To adjust the settings after our test print we'll go back into the menu, go up to our cutting menu and then over to get to the print cut adjustment, over once again and this is back to the test print that we just performed. I will go down once and now we see setting and an indicator to go over. Once we go over you can see the feed and the scan settings here. Our feed was correct at negative 0.05 so we don't want to adjust that. If I were to adjust it I would use the up or down arrows to adjust that value and when I got it to the desired value, press enter. Our scan is set at plus .04 and was off to the left side of the cut. I need to adjust this down to a better value. I'll take it down to plus .20 since it was a significant amount to the left hand side and press enter to get the new value. Once I have this new value, I need to go menu back out and then back up to our test print to perform another test print and see if our settings are correct. You would continue with these steps adjusting in the, both the feed and scan direction until our cut is where we want it so a slight sliver of black or no black at all shows around all sides. After doing our adjustments and running more test prints to see if it has brought the calibration back in, we will advance the media out and again remove the squares to check to see if we're back on track. As you can see with the center one, the feed calibration held and now our scan direction has a little bit of black on both sides. I could continue adjusting to get this however I want, but this is a very good test cut here. Remove the left hand side. And then the right hand side and we can see a little bit of black all the way around each one of these. Our test cut and print cut adjustment is complete.